Uh, now, we will take you to Kumase. Remember that over 40 year old maternity block that's been abandoned? Well, we put the spotlight on it, leading as was uh, said Kwame Boateng, uh, our colleague. Well, there's good news this morning because President Ekufuado is going to cut short for work to begin. Said Kwame Boateng is going to come to us live from Kumasi, uh, the venue this morning. Uh, but before that, here's a report taking us through the journey about how this whole project began. Lives were being lost on a daily basis as a result of congestion here at the Konfonochi Teaching Hospital. Ghana's second biggest teaching hospital. Yeah, our mortality rates have all have been around 20%, which means that a fifth of the babies who come in will end up dying. Um, so that, that would try baby what? You know, on, on, on a bad day, we can lose six, seven babies. Uh, we've had days when we've lost as many as 10 in a day. These heart wrenching statistics from Dr. Jikua Planjuru. Head of the hospital's mother and baby unit were not the only worrying fact about the facility. Expectant mothers also had their share, according to the former head of the gynecology unit of the hospital, Professor Bafu Opoku. In 2012, we had 152 deaths. Mothers. Mothers. 2013, 126. 2014, 108. 2015, 102, and last year was 91. All these were as a result of congestion. Congestion that made women in labor join queues and each wait her turn to give birth. Some of them will deliver in the corridors, and it's not the best because you have to be in a particular position to ensure effective, safe delivery. So assuming the woman is standing and the baby just drops onto the ground, Apart from the baby sustaining injuries, the mother will also sustain what we call genital tract injuries. This same congestion meant doctors and nurses at the mother and baby unit had to put up to four babies in one cot or incubator. Each of these babies is carrying his own set of bacteria and then they are sharing. They are passing them on to one another. How dangerous so is that? Baby may come in with, you know, your baby may come in with one infection and then just as he's getting well and he's about to go, he picks another one from his cot mate. And, 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 you know, sometimes maybe, I mean, babe, as, I, as I said, babies can die of infections very easily. A few meters away from where these avoidable deaths were being recorded was the perceived panacea to the congestion. An almost thousand bed maternity and child health unit started in 1974 but had been abandoned. This didn't sound right. We need not play politics with our health and in particular this building because all the governments have come and gone. None has been able to just finish this to take care of the people who go and queue to vote for them every year, mm -hmm. especially our mothers and children who make up the largest population of this country besides the men. These concerns triggered the Next to Die documentary, which was first broadcast on 13th March 2017. <laughs> this documentary shook people in Ghana and beyond, and it made many people angry, angry at the reality of mothers losing their babies after nine months of pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we, we sincerely apologize you're having to relive this uh, rather sad experience. Uh, this is third time referral to Konfuanoche and the experience is almost the same. The public discourse on the blatant neglect of this facility continued for weeks and this compelled President Ekufuado to visit the hospital to obtain first-hand accounts of the situation. It was Saturday 1st April 2017 and this is what he wrote in the hospital's visitor's book. I am very distressed at what I have seen here today. It is not to the credit of our nation that an important hospital project, Cath Maternity Block, should stand 44 years uncompleted. We have to do something about it, and I intend to do so. Contractors who were Working on the project, had told Joy News about $75 million was needed to complete the project. They could finish the project in two years. These two years' waiting period meant more deaths, so the multimedia group and the First Lady, Rebecca Kufuado, had to intervene and raise approximately $2 million to construct an emergency ultra-modern maternity and mother and baby unit in a record time of six months. 
I saw drawings of it, but um, I didn't know this is how it would turn out. I'm really amazed and overjoyed at, at what I see today. And indeed, this facility helped to significantly improve the situation, save lives. But to further reduce the deaths, the abandoned 47-year-old building needs to be completed. Government has secured two credit agreements from the Deutsche Bank and the UK Export Finance, totaling 155 million euros to continue the project. Parliament approved this loan on 12 April 2019. All is set now for work to start on the facility, and on Friday, 15th May, President Ekufuado will cut sword for work to continue on the project. The chief executive of the Konfonochi Teaching Hospital, Dr. Hineba Wusudan, says this would be the best gift the hospital would have ever received. The fact that it is a facility within the center of Ghana that offers some unique specialized uh, services that most regions don't have, the entire five regions in the, in the north. Their reference come to us, even including the central region. So we need that facility to actually expand. In fact, where we are, as I've always indicated, the accident and emergency center in Confederate Hospital is almost always full. It's all because we are getting referrals here every minute, every hour, because of the lack of facilities in all the uh, regional areas that I've uh, just uh, indicated. And therefore, we need to have a very um, good space to transfer the patients out of the emergency area beyond their emergency care. And that is why the incoming project is very, very critical. Well, from the multimedia group, we would want to thank you all for helping us push this agenda for better health for the mothers and babies in and around the Ashanti region. And great work since then has resulted now in the president going to cut a sword. And Mamavi, we do have um, Seth Kwame Boating, the person who is the genesis for all this, uh, again to wrap it all up for us. Absolutely. This also took the Super Money Show on radio and the AM show to Kumase, uh, you know, to highlight a lot more. The first lady stepped in appropriately and, you know, helped with an intervention. But finally, this over 70 year old project set Kwame Boateng is going to continue and be completed. Mm. Tell us what you can report. Well, uh, Mamavi, because of the uh, face mask, you can't see the <laughs> smiles on my face. But behind me I is the now 47-year-old building. It was started in 1974. And I am happy. I believe you are equally happy. Roland is happy and the entire country uh, must be smiling today because this is not going to serve only the people here in the Ashanti region. Remember, Konfonochi serves about six other regions, so it's a national affair. That's why we are all excited and I'm happy um, I'm at the premises where the program will take place. They had to change the venue uh, because of the numbers, so they will be able to control the numbers. That's why you can see moving things to a new place the, now we are doing it at the premises of the old building initially the plan was to have the program or the event done at where we of March. That was the initial place they were going to have the program where the president was going to speak and stand and talk. But because they want to control the numbers um, as a result of the social distancing, uh, they had to change things and bring it here. Um, that's why you can hear so much noise here. They are busy working, trying to set up the stage, uh, trying to mount... Well, we've lost a feed there, but again, the conversation continues, Mamavi, about generally how we should be receptive, but also continue projects that have been started uh, not only by previous governments, but uh, decade-old projects. And, um, well, Seth is back. Uh, do we have the feed now? Yeah, continue. <laughs> Roland, I can hear you. Yes, okay. Uh, and ultimately, from your narration, it, it means that some 
activities or actions will be taking place uh, this morning. Comprehensively, if you have the program, what, what can you tell us uh, by what we have? Okay, so the president will be here himself to cut sword for where to start. O24 uh, um, Asantehne will also be here, uh, but uh, I, don't, I don't think he will be talking, but the regional minister will talk. It's a comprehensive program, but they don't hope that it will travel for a very long time. So when the president comes, the uh, CEO of Confinati will welcome him. The regional minister will also talk. Then the president speaks, and the rest continues, and he will cut sword for work to officially start on this project and the information i have is that the contractors that is contractor they are now they are the new uh, engineers going to work on this project they had told government that it was going to take them three years you remember when we did the next to die documentary uh, we were told by the previous contractor that it would take them about two years to finish but because uh, of the uh, uh, Contractor had proposed to government that uh, they would take approximately uh, three years to finish. But I understand they are negotiating with them to see if they can even complete ahead of schedule. So that is it, Roland. And a lot of money is going to be sunk in this. Um, and we do know that based on the use of such facilities, it's going to extend beyond just the demographics or uh, the regions around there. How effective are we going to have this? How elaborate is this going to be comparable to others we have? Um, I spoke to one doctor who told me that this current facility is bigger than the Confinoche itself, the current structure that we have, the operational one. That is the description one doctor gave me. And it means that it can take more and more uh, patients from other regions. I mentioned that even now, Confinochi Teaching Hospital serves about five other regions, uh, Central, Bono East, the Northern regions. Most patients are referred to this facility. So it's not going to serve only people here in the Shanti region. That is why it is this big. It has the maternity unit, it has the child health center, a very huge one, I think one. Um, uh, it's going to be the, the almost the first of its kind in this country. It's very big. That is why the government had to go for a loan of one, 155 million euros to help do this project. So it tells the premium that um, not only government places on this, but the entire country places on this very facility, Roland. Seth, this has been abandoned for 47 years. How sure are we that we will not abandon it again? Well, uh, uh, I cannot speak for, for government at this moment, but what I can say is that we have been told that the money is ready. I remember Parliament approved that loan in April 2019, and the money is in. in the, this program, what is happening today, uh, should have taken place early January, but because the president wasn't available, they had to postpone it to this time. So the assurance we have is that the money is ready. In the past, government had said there was no money. That was why they had not been able to complete this project, which was started in 1974. But now that we understand the 155 million euros is here, is in, uh, we can only hope and pray that it will not be abandoned again, Mamavi. So we will, we will hope, pray, and fast, I guess. Uh, but do we know the timelines? Have we been assured when this project will be completed? Uh, well, I was told initially that it was going to take uh, about three years, but the Ministry of Health uh, engaged the contractors to see if they could even finish before the three years. Okay. All right, sir. I guess, I guess we'll have Mama to come B. back to you when the ceremony itself begins. Uh, and we can, we're appreciating... And everybody is asking of you, Mama V. Yes, okay. So, um, Seth, you are closer to this project than <laughs> any of us. We're showing how it would look like when it is completed on the screen. So explain it to us because mm. you've seen this. Well, this is the artistic impression of how the project will look like. Um, uh, I don't have... The, visual, the pictures on me right now, so I'm unable to explain exactly what we are showing, but they, I'm told this is how it will look like when everything is over. Okay. Yeah.
All right, we can't wait. It looks, looks really beautiful. plush, like a hotel, <laughs> <laughs> like a five-star hotel, really. Yeah. If there's a six-star, yeah. So we can't <laughs> wait to get this done. Uh, I am happy that something that you spearheaded, something that we all took part in, uh, that the whole nation really, because we got a lot of contribution, a lot of support from yeah. a lot of Ghanaians. Finally, finally, the 40, 47 year old uh, is going to continue and hopefully we pray really, we fast and pray that it will be completed as well. But uh, it's actually a very good move. Uh, and then we will join Seth Kwame Boateng when the president gets to the venue and the ceremony begins. It will be live here on Joy News. Uh, but Roland, we have our, ne our next conversations with the various municipal chief executives from some of the hotspots areas uh, with COVID-19 cases. And we're going to be finding out how they are managing. Uh, their hotspots, are they addressing the issues as you know, hot spots areas. Yeah. So that's all coming up, uh, Roland? Yes, definitely. And, we'll, and as you find uh, three of them on your screens, we have to introduce. And uh, look, we have, um, uh, let's have, can we have them introduce themselves? Okay, so let's start with Patrick. Can you all hear me? Hear us here in the studio? Hello? Yeah, we can hear, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. So we've got Mr. Patrick Kumo, MCE for Wejak Bawe. Can we hear you say hello, sir? Okay, not quiet. We've got to fix that. But we also have Mr. Simon Kweku Tete, who is MCE Loa Manya Krobo. Can we, can we hear you say hello to us, sir? The Loa Manya Krobo MCE. All right, so we've got to take a breather. We have to work on this connection, but uh, we'll bring you this conversation up next. Stay with us.